Hello guys and God bless. Um, thank you for coming to watch this video. Uh, this video is going to be on the uh, this green comet that's coming into our... <clears throat> well, we're seeing it in the night sky. I think most of us have seen it now. I haven't looked forward. I haven't watched it, watched forward at all. Uh, this study, I guess, or information came to me a few days ago. And um, I started looking at it and just... I kind of do what I normally do. I start a folder and I start putting some things together. And... Um, a friend today sent me a uh, an email where he converted um, this up here, this name of this, the official name, C slash 2022 E3 ZTF, into Strong's Concordance numbers. And he did a good job, nothing wrong with what he did, but he went real, real brief and, and just wrote, you know, like the first couple things that were, you know, on the sheet of the Strong's Concordance number. Um, I, I took it a little further. Uh, I just started examining, you know, the root words. And if there was a name involved, looking up at the etymology of that name. And you'll see later on. We'll get into that here. I don't know if this is going to be a one or two part video. This might be kind of long, so I might break this into two two parts. But um, as I started looking into the, the pretty much it's alphanumeric, uh, C being three, two being B, etc. You know, whatever he did, I'll have to look at it. I'll show you. But um, you start digging into it a little deeper, and there's definitely a message there. And again, I I'm not here to lean you one way towards the other, but just show you what I've been shown, so you can take what I show you and to the Lord and go from there. But as I was sitting here, kind of pondering this video. And, and doing it, I wasn't going to do it, um, but it just has become so much information that, um, you know, the, the Lord is leading me to do it. So um, to kind of piece together things, I guess. I immediately thought of Comet Ison. So here we have this comet coming, green in color, which is weird. And back in uh, 2013, we had Comet Ison, which I've discussed several times in several videos, several different ways, and I'll pull up a study here in just a minute. Um, I started looking at this, and, and we know, we should know through the videos I've done, that this was Comet I, Son of God. It was the seed that was implanted um, during this time frame, because around 2013, November 28th, I think they have, um, yeah, November 29th here, that it went into the sun. And that was the Lord showed me. I'll pull it up here real quick. Um, that was a type of seed bringing forth light into the children of light. So we have our sun, which is like a sperm, or I'm sorry, which is like a woman's egg. And we have our comet, which is like a sperm implanting the egg. Here we have November 28th, comet coming towards the sun. They say, they say, they say it made perhelion, which means slingshot around the sun, but I don't believe it did. I believe it impacted the sun, just like the sperm does with the egg. And then, of course, there's a flash of light. And that is when a lot of people started to, quote unquote, wake up or come out of the waitrix, come out of the womb, um, uh, you know, seeing the light. That comet was 186,400 miles long, which is in the Bible. That's the speed of light. And that's also in, uh, you know, Numbers 2-9. And here are some of the verses with, you know, you are light. Um, while the light was with you, you walk in light, lest darkness come upon you. Uh, but now you're in light, children of light, um, all these different um, verses. And of course, you can get into the meaning of, because um, that was the tribe of Judah, 186,400 people is the tribe of Judah, and Judah means praise and thanksgiving. This happened around Thanksgiving and Hanukkah on the same day, okay? And um, so anyway, this was obviously a marker for people to, you know, the children of God, however you want to put it, to start walking in light and and learning these things and learning about the world they live in. So I kind of flipped that a little bit, going back to our comment here, 
and I begin to think, well, if that was uh, the seed of light, what is this? Because it, now kind of we know I will be like the Most High. Of course, God controls all this. We know that. But what's the message here? Is there a message and what is it? Well, if that's the seed of light, is there a seed of darkness? And as you start to look at this, I believe it is. Now, um, again, I'm trying to take all this in pieces because I have a lot to share. So um, let me go to this. I thought immediately of the pale horse, which isn't really pale at all. It's green. So I looked up and behold, the pale horse, his name that sat upon him was death and hell followed with him. So we have the seed of life. Okay. In the common eye song. Is this a seed of death? We know a sword is coming. So I know these, these, some of these things are going to be uncomfortable to talk about because no one wants to talk about bad things, but bad things are coming. Now there's also a hope, but there's judgment that's coming and it's just the way it is. But as you look at this, this word pale, pale horse, pale means green. And so again, that obviously gets me going down another thread, which is Chloe. And we have the green herb, Christian woman of Corinth. Uh, you can read about her. So with this, okay, what I'm trying to say here with this is also going to be a birth of new believers. Now, when I say new believers, I mean, people are going to have awakening come forth. Um, and as the seed of life was in us, this is going to awaken them of the death and the destruction that's coming. And thus, there'll be a new plant, there'll be a green herb, a tender shoot uh, coming forward during this time, okay, because of this comet that's going to happen. And um, so that's, that's where I went from that. Now, if you get to um, her name here, this is Chloe, tender shoot coming forth. That's exactly what she's, what this is talking about. Um, it's a new group of plants that are going to come forward, a new, um, blades of grass, new, exactly what it says to shoot forth of plants, spring blade of grass. Um, we know in the Bible, it talks about some of these being burned up in the heat because it's going to be too much for them. And that's when we get into the concordance words. You'll see how this kind of plays out. Young shoots producing young shoots, right? These are people coming forth and believing at this point. Okay. Um, so that's what I got from that part. Okay. Now let's keep going here. As I begin to look at this, this will cover this date, I guess right now. So this, this comment's going to be closest to the earth on one February, 2023. Okay. Now there's a lot of things surrounding this date this month we have a lot of uh events coming okay both on the hebrew calendar and our calendar here in the united states we know that we have a major football game coming up this weekend for the playoffs and we have eagles san francisco all these teams playing and um we have a super bowl coming up okay now Many remember that during the Super Bowl, we had a lights out event, a 3-2-2. Two, two. C is 3. Get rid of the 0, you have 22 or 2-2-2. Two, two, two. We'll get into that a little bit more. But let's, let's take a look at this. So, okay, 
couple, one thing I want you to pay attention to, equipment failure, glitch. You're going to see that in this movie called Maximum Overdrive, which I'll bring up here in a little bit. Just I wanted to say it before I forget it. Okay, so we know it's San Francisco. We know San Francisco is playing this coming weekend. Uh, I believe they are. I'm not too much of a football fan anymore. But we also have this 3-2-2, okay? We all know 3-2-2, Skull and Bones, March 22nd, all that. But we also have it up here as well, okay, with this 3-2-2 Comet meme. Um, so we'll play a little bit more of this. Officials running around wanting to get this game back on. Not them paying attention to the players for the Baltimore Ravens right now. They are very much bewildered. They're asking questions. What's going on? They're asking. And in a store. So. Not enough for a Niners win. That's enough for now. That video will be in the packet if you want to take a look at it. So we have all this stuff going on around this time frame. We have the death of Herod, uh, which is today. And he's known as the dragon. Um also part of the dragon in revelation 12 and um we also have to be shabbat coming up on the 6th of february which is the festival of trees now i'm not going to get into that right now but that's that's something you can look at it's uh i think it's to be shabbat and that's going to be in the folder as well for you to look at but that's like a new birthing new beginning fertility different things like that so um kind of don't want to lose focus so we might come to that later on um this was funny. It was it was discovered to March 2022. So three or I'm sorry, two, three, two, two, two. Um, you know, so just some interesting things here. Again, our date. Um, also, Groundhog Day is another um, thing during this time frame. Now, if you follow Sparrow Barn, um, she had a dream just recently of um, groundhogs. Again, this will be in the packet for you to look at. But um, she, in this dream, she talks about some groundhogs that she uh, had at a pet store. And and um, I'll let you take a look at it. Again, there's a lot to cover, so we'll keep going. Um, so he, here we have this seed, I believe. Uh, now, it's not supposed to impact the sun. It's supposed to come close to the earth. So with that tail of this comet we know the bible talks about hailstones and fire which is going to be one of the concordance words that will be coming to the earth that that's going to happen um so this impact and results of this even if it doesn't hit is still going to be very significant now what really struck a chord with me was this comet's weird okay it's it's got this green glow to it and this is because of diatomic carbon and cyanogen. So we're going to take a look at this because it's significant. Okay. So when you look at Comet Eye Sun, there's nothing weird about it. Doesn't say anything. Dangerous gases. Doesn't, doesn't talk about anything of what it's made of. Just very, very normal looking i guess okay when you look at this comet it mentions these two things so there's a bright green glow and its nucleus which is due to the effect of the sunlight and its molecules especially diatomic carbon and cyanogen okay diatomic carbon really hit me hard okay so it's a green gasless inorganic chemical with a chemical formula it's kinetically unstable at ambient temperatures that's the Earth's temperature is ambient, okay? The which means pretty much ordinary temperature, okay? Um, as I started looking at this, unstable at ambient temperature and pressure being removed through, um, of course, carbon vapor, electric arcs, comets. Okay, Diamat diatomic carbon is the second simplest form, immediate particular in genesis of fullerenes. So these fullerenes, 
is where it gets pretty interesting. The fullerene is a carbon network. Um, carbon atoms connected by single or double bonds all of so to form particularly close mesh with fused rings of five to seven atoms, uh, maybe a hollow sphere, a tube, whatever. So now we have these nanotubes again. Graphene, graphite, it's all been talked about. And it also goes back to the soccer, which we'll get through here in a minute, which is American football. Okay. So now we have this, this weird makeup, which makes it unstable at ordinary temperatures. So what do you think that's going to happen when this enters our atmosphere? It's going to become unstable. Okay. I don't know when or how, if it, even if it will. But it appears that if it gets close to Earth with our temperatures, it will become unstable. So we have these genesis of fullerenes. Okay. Hope you're staying with me. And these fullerenes are carbon carbon molecules that are connected. Okay. They they're in a sphere, ellipsoid, or tube. This has been discussed completely by me with well the one place i did do a video on this is called the wicked fisherman god jesus his followers were fishermen started off as fishermen and they caught fish in nets okay we're the fish remember the bible says he's going to sort out the fish okay this this network this um carbon nanotube network makes a net the Bible speaks very plainly about being caught in a net, all right, being trapped or caught in this net. These graphene particles are going to be very dangerous. They're going to affect the nervous system in humanity. I don't know if they're in the, the or not, but I believe they are. So we have this carbon that we've already found with this study in the wicked fishermen and the wicked net that they're trapping these people in. And it also can affect the nervous system. So my thought is, as we get into this a little bit more and we look at maximum overdrive, this comet's not only going to be destructive in a physical sense, but there's going to be something else that occurs due to this carbon structure that it's made of. And that's when, you, that's when I think a big clue is, you know, by Stephen King's movie there, is it causes all the machines in the world to go crazy and act out on their own. So just bear with me. I know we're not quite there yet, but that's where this is that's where this is going. Um So anyway, you can go through this study here. Sometimes guys, I I go through these studies and I put them out and then I forget a lot of it. So I even got to go back and look at myself and, and refresh myself. But there is a very um, diabolical plan here with a net and a network. And carbon nanotubes and carbon particles are going to influence the nervous system. That's the, the bottom line. A lot of this can be, you can look at this and go over this. Uh, the title is The Wicked Fisherman. Here it is. I've cast a net at his own feet. He walks upon a snare. The jinn shall take him and shall prevail. Um, you know, you can get into all this and read about this. Um, our nervous system, graphene, will be the AI network inside the human body. Um, it talks about this in Job. Graphene is, is right here, pounded thin. So this thin metallic or carbon sheet is the snare, okay? Um, again, you can get into it, you know, as you will. This will be pretty long and drawn out if we go too far but this is a connection to that um there's no doubt in my mind that that's that's what's happening here um okay let's continue on here i'm gonna close this one out and we're gonna go back so we go back to carbon and our structure makeup and this brings us to this study here called drinking from the lord's breast vessels brought judgment and this gets into adrenochrome, carbon nanotubes, 
carbon. We're made of carbon. We're carbon. So this is talking about the adrenal chrome and the makeup of adrenal chrome is exactly what's on a soccer ball um, or called pitch, right? Soccer is called pitch. And that's what this took me to, um, this chromer. And pretty much everyone knows that adrenal chrome is caused by fear, generally in children. And then they drink that blood that's been expressed with adrenal gland fluid or adrenal uh, in the blood. And that gives them power. And that brings us right here to this definition, to be troubled, to be in turmoil. All right. And this is the adrenal chrome. This is the makeup and it's put right on the soccer ball, which our kids play. All right. So and it's it's right there. Plain as day. It also makes up a human on a pentagram spread out as a sacrifice. Okay. So that's where we get this fullerene, okay? And it's named after a guy, I think I have him up here, Buckminster Fuller. Um, he'll be in the packet as well. I'm not sure if there's anything here um, about him or not. But there's our soccer ball. I mean, it's right there. So something, this is connected. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Nothing here with this. Comet Ison, they have no... Nothing, nothing about this. Well, gases are dangerous or this or that or, uh, you know, nothing. But you go to this and it's, it's got this and this. And cyanogen is a dangerous, poisonous gas. Colorless, highly toxic gas, pungent odor, probably sulfur, if I were to guess. Um, and again, you can go through all this. I'm not going to go through all this right now. Cyanide tied to cyanide so it's it's all there and of course our football so we have a football reference and all of this coming up so i'm going to end right here i think with this um and here's our carbon nanotubes we talked about all this will be in the folder i'm going to end right here uh, with this one we're going to continue with um, the movies, Maximum Overdrive. There's another one called Nine of the Comet, Groundhog Day. And then we'll do the Strong's breakdown of it. And then, um, and then finish up from there. All right. God bless you guys.